So, welcome back student next class of uh, complex analysis. In the last class uh, we discussed something about uh, cauchy gauchardt equation or cauchy gauchardt theorem which suggests that if we have a region bounded by some curve C and if the function fz is analytic in this region then the total integration of this value will be 0. So, let us try to find out few things what is the meaning of the function is analytic in some region. So, let me give you first straightforward example. So, if z is 1 divided by z this is a function. Now, you can readily see that the function at z equal to 0 point the function is blowing up. So, z equal to 0 point is called a singularity. We use this term earlier singularity, but we will going to learn about these things more in the future class, but you should now realize what is the meaning of singularity. That means, the function is failed to analytic at that particular point that means, z equal to 0. So, if this is my region and if this is my point z equal to 0 except this point except this point the function is analytic everywhere. So, that means, there is a region there may be some region where the function is failed to analytic. I can give you more examples. So, that things will be clear to you. Let me give you one another example 1 divided by z square plus 4. One divided by if I simplify that plus 2i z minus 2i this is my function right. So, if z equal to 2y then you find the function is blowing up z equal to minus 2y again the function is blowing up. So, if I draw here this is i this is 2 i this is minus i this is minus 2 i. So, I will have two points here say here and here this is minus where the function have a problem the function is failed to analytic at that particular point except that it behave like an analytic function. So, there are few regions or few points where the function is failed to analytic and that is why this integration when I doing the when I was doing the integration these things we need to mention that f z is analytic over some region and the region is maintained or mentioned by this closed curve c. So, if c is given in such a way that this function is analytic then we can use our formula. For example, here if the z curve for this particular problem one function z square plus z is given like this region that means, I am having a region like this mod of z is 1 that means, I am having a region here. In this region, this region, this entire region this given function f z is analytic for this region the function f z is analytic. So, f z is analytic which f z I am talking about 1 by z square plus 4. Why it is analytic? Because my singular point where the function is blowing up it is outside the region. So, in this region it is analytic. Now, if I want to integrate these things over here. If I want to integrate this function, these things 
over here in this region which is given by z equal to minus 1 I will have straight away I will have the value 0 that is the thing I wanted to mention right. After having the knowledge of this region where the function is analytic let, let us do few calculation few. So, let us start with some trivial calculation. So, let us start the function that I wrote few minutes ago 1 by z ok. So, now I want to integrate this over this region. Say this is my region I over I want to integrate right. So, you can readily understand that over this region the function is in this region at least the function is analytic. So, this is the value of r, this is the value of theta, this is my z point. So, if I do the integration I need to calculate 1 by z for this closed path dz, this quantity I need to calculate. Now, z is r e to the power of i theta this quantity dz is how much here please mind that every time z is changing this is the point where z is changing or in this way whatever r and theta both are changing it is not constant both are changing. So, that means it is dr plus i d theta i r d theta e to the power of i theta. If z is r e to the power i theta then d z has to be d r plus i r theta d theta. For this case d r e to the power i theta will be there. So, I take the e to the power i theta both side common. So, it is outside and I will get this straight forward. Now, I will put it here. So, in the inside the integration. So, my close integration 1 by z means 1 by r e to the power i theta and this quantity dr plus i r d theta whole multiplied by e to the power of i theta right. Now, this e to the power i theta and this e to the power i theta will cancel out and I will have two integration one is this related to r and another is related to theta. So, it will be something like dr by r and plus i d theta simply I will have this. Now, these things I can write in general because I am going to let me erase this because I need to use this board here. So, integration of 1 by r dr plus i integration of d theta that I am going to calculate. So, now you can understand. So, let me do one thing here. Let me draw the figure once again. So, this is my r. So, if I write instead of having the closed if I write then it will be r initial to r final instead of having the these things if I write theta initial to theta final this. Now, you can you can say you can find that this is how much ln of r r 1 r f r i r f plus i theta f minus theta i. This is in general if I go from some initial point to some final point. Now, the thing is that I am going to this path and then returning back to the same point here. So, my r i is eventually r f and theta i is eventually theta f. 
when my ri is eventually rf then this quantity and this quantity both will going to vanish so we will have zero which is expected because we know that it has to be zero because the function 1 by z is analytic in this region and i am making the close integral over that so essentially this is zero when my region is given like that okay i'll do the same problem for another region so let us find what we are getting this is interesting so let me draw the region that side so that i uh, need not erase this every time so this is the region now i am enclosing this z equal to 0 point so this is my c i define my c in such a way that it is encircling the z equal to 0 point now the function fz is not analytic in this region fz please mind it it is not analytic in this region so integration of this quantity obviously will not be shouldn't be equal to 0 so let us try to find out how the things so here again this is say my r and this is my theta so again z is equal to r e to the power i theta exactly the same procedure i'm going to follow so dz is equal to dr plus ir d theta e to the power of i theta this then the integration is dr plus ir d theta e to the power of i theta divided by z which is r e to the power i theta so this quantity will going to cancel out and dr by r as usual in the previous case whatever the things i got is okay and then i find i integration of d theta now here is the interesting thing exactly the calculation is exactly the same that we have done in the previous problem but here something extra we have the extra thing is that the theta is now rotating like this enclosing the point z equal to 0 that means initial theta and final theta may not be the same one here initial r or final r will be same so i will have 0 for this but here it will be d theta will be 0 to 2 pi because it is rotating 2 pi i start here and it rotates like this and come to this point so that means my range of theta is 0 to 2 pi from here i return back to that point which is 2 theta so d theta so eventually i will have 2 pi i this is a very important relation that 1 by z dz if i try to find out the integration in this region the value should be 2 pi i the value should be 2 pi i <coughs> ok so let us now do the same problem a different for other case so let me check which other problems uh, i have for you ok so before doing that so let us try to find out these things so now my i want to this i want to continue with another function this is equally important fz is now z minus a i want to evaluate this quantity i want to evaluate this quantity so this quantity let me write the region here which region i want to find here says the point is a and this is the circle 
I have and I want to find out the integration here. Now if you see the point A is inside the circle that means this is my jet point this, say this is epsilon and this is my jet point. You can see that uh, this A point is inside the region that means this function is not analytic there. So obviously this function should have some value there in that point. So let us try to find out. So now I can write z uh, is equal to say z minus a is equal to epsilon e to the power of i theta. If this is the radius is epsilon then z minus a I can write in this form because it is z is changing, z is changing over these things and it is nothing but this point plus this one epsilon i theta. So z the general z point is defined like this, I can write it. When this rotation because of this rotation A will be, so let me explain you if you have. So this is in general the location of z, when epsilon is 0 z and A are same point but it is root rotating over some radius r, radius epsilon. So this is, so when epsilon theta is changing, it will change the sign. So sometime it will be a plus epsilon, some will be a minus epsilon and some will be value. So some point will be here, say a plus epsilon, some point is here which is a minus epsilon and other values are also possible depending on the value of theta. <coughs> anyway, so, so where it is what is my dz here? dz is epsilon, I am saying this is a circle, so epsilon is fixed, epsilon i theta e to the power epsilon i d theta e to the power of i theta, this is my dz. I will put it here, so total integration of fz is this quantity z minus a dz which is 1 by z dz is epsilon i d theta e to the power of i theta divided by z minus a, z minus a is epsilon e to the power i theta. So epsilon e to the power of i theta e to the power of i theta, e to the power of i theta cancel out, epsilon, epsilon cancel out. So we will have this theta range is calculated against this point. So my theta is here. So this theta is rotating at that particular point. This is the, this is the, this is a some sort of shifted origin and it is rotating. So the initial and final value of theta is not the same but it is 0 to 2 pi i d theta, so it will be 2 pi i again. So this quantity, if f z is this, if I take the total integration, close integration over that point where it is uh, enclosing the point, singular point A, I will have a value 2 pi i and again it is true because function of z is not analytic, so it should not be 0 at that point but it is 2 pi i. Okay, so now I will again change these things slightly and try to find out. For example, if I change this quantity to z minus a whole to the power n, z minus a whole to the power n, then what should be the value of this integration? n is an integer, so it is interesting because now I am increasing the power, so I try to calculate this quantity z minus a this dz which is dz will be same as before, there is no change dz will be same, so it will be 
integration epsilon i d theta e to the power of i theta divided by z minus a whole to the power n. This is the place where things are changing. So, it will be e to the epsilon to the power n e to the power of i n theta. I, I have this with the limit 0 to 2 pi. This closed integral and these things are identical now because epsilon is not going to change. So, closed integral here is eventually means that my integration is 0 to 2 pi. Now, it is i epsilon 1 minus n integration 0 to 2 pi e to the power of i 1 minus n theta d theta. I am having this expression now in my hand. Okay. So, we are almost there. So, this quantity is i epsilon 1 minus n and this quantity is e to the power of i 1 minus n e to the power of i 1 minus n theta divided by i 1 minus n with a limit 0 to 2 pi n is an integer. Now, if this is the case you can find that epsilon 1 minus n divided by 1 minus n e to the power of i 1 minus n into 2 pi minus 1. e to the power 1 minus n 2 pi is essentially 1 because it is cos 1 minus n 2 pi multiplied by i sin 1 minus n 2 pi. So, it is 1 sin 1 minus n 2 pi is 0 cos 1 minus n 2 pi is 1. So, it is 1. So, I will have epsilon 1 minus n 1 minus n 1 minus 1 which is 0. This is also an important outcome that uh, in this region when I calculate. So, let me summarize these things quickly. So, when my function f z was 1 divided by z minus a when I calculate this quantity I have 2 pi i as a result. When my function is z minus a whole to the power n and when I calculate this quantity 1 by z minus a whole to the power n dz my result was 0. So, these two are very important outcome uh, regarding these things. So, we calculate that using extensively uh, 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 the calculating everything we find that it is uh, this value is 2 pi and this value is 0. We will going to use this actually why I, we are doing this because we will going to use uh, this concept in our uh, future classes and then uh, we will exploit this more to find out the value of the integration. So, before before concluding this class before concluding this class one very important uh, uh, important uh, integral concept i like to make here that is please note that okay so what is what so far we have when I have f z d z 
equal to 0 for the region if the region is given to me where the fz is analytic fz analytic then it is okay that fz is analytic I have a region C where fz is analytic so this value is 0. But if fz is not analytic I do not know what is the value of a given region say fz is not analytic in a region. So, this region is here C where fz is not analytic. Then I do not know how to calculate this kind of integration, but in the next class we will start from here and exploiting this concept we try to find out whether is there any way to find out the value of this integration in the region where fz is not analytic, but I can do some procedure so that I can readily figure out whether uh, what is the value of this integration. So, this to find out the integration of this kind where the function given here is a non analytic function on the region and still I can have a recipe to find out there is a well known formula for that which is called the Cauchy's integral formula. So, in the next class we start with that and find out how the Cauchy's integral formula gives us the values of this integration where fz is uh, not analytic. With this note let us conclude here in the next class so we will again start from here and try to figure out how Cauchy's formula enable us to give the values of integration where the function is not analytic. So, thank you for your attention. So, see you in the next class.